Hi everyone, it's Eva here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. And for today's video, I decided to do something that's not Christmassy, even though we're in the week of Christmas. I know, how controversial. Never done before. <laughs> no, don't mind that. Um, but yeah, I, I, like I said in last week's video, I'm sick of Christmas videos and winter videos. Um, so yeah, a non-Christmassy video in the week of Christmas. I mean, it's because I start getting excited for Christmas, like in October? probably. So yeah, I lose all my kind of excitement in The Sims for this by the time Christmas arrives. But um, yeah, I'm still excited for Christmas, don't get me wrong. It's just there's a limited amount of Christmas decorations and a limited amount of winter items that you can use and winter bills that you can do. So yeah, I'm over it. Let's just be honest. I'm really proud of this one, actually. It's very different to my normal building lot size. <laughs> I usually build on really big lots or like relatively big lots. So like mostly 50 by 50s and 64s by 64s, but also like sometimes 40 by 30 lots and stuff like that. But this lot, let me tell you, it's small. It's a 15 by 20. So yeah, very, very different. Um, but I did actually surprisingly enjoy it. Um, I don't think, I don't remember the last time I actually built on a small lot. It's probably like, it's been a while. It's been a while. I genuinely cannot remember a single build I've done on a small lot. So yeah, this was really refreshing actually. I usually think that small lots are very restricting, um, which is kind of true, but also at the same time, I think it's kind of giving you like a guideline, which can be really helpful because sometimes I can get lost on big lots. So either the house kind of gets lost on the lot and it looks a bit odd, or I build too big and then when I furnish, I'm like, why did I do this? So yeah, this was actually really cool because I mean, I wanted the house actually to be a bit bigger, like longer, but I couldn't because the lot is small. <laughs> so I had to like kind of alter it a bit, but it is still huge. Like I didn't expect it to be this like spacious and big. It's actually huge. Like we have three floors, I believe. Yeah, three floors, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, two living rooms, um, a garage, um, a laundry room. Yeah, and just like living room and kitchen area. So nothing too crazy, but yeah, it is quite Big. Like I said, I didn't think it would turn out to be this big. Um, the inspiration for this I actually had from a TV show that I watch. Um, it's called Property Brothers. I don't know if you know it. I think it's an American show with two Canadian um, twin brothers who renovate like fixer uppers and um, yeah, make beautiful new houses. And one of these houses that they um, I think went on an inspiration tour was this like really cute modern townhouse. And I have been on the modern wave for the past couple of weeks. I don't know, I have these kind of waves with, with building styles. It's always like, either I do like boho for a while or I do like fully modern for a while. It always like mixes up, but yeah, I'm loving the modern and I hope you do too. If you get bored, then I'm sorry. I don't know. Maybe go back to my old videos. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, I'm, I'm loving the modern vibe at the moment and I'm really happy with how this turned out. But basically um, the exterior, so in the show, they showed like the exterior and then the living room. Um, so like I had the inspiration of the living room being on like a couple steps up, then the table and then the kitchen. That was like my only inspiration for this build. And I really love that. I normally have like the living room on the ground floor always. And it was really cool and really like quite different to actually build the living room, not on the ground floor, but on the first floor. And I think it's really actually quite cool. I wouldn't mind that in my own house, to be fair. Not that I own a house. I mean, I live in London, what do you expect? Anyway, um, yeah, so the exterior was like my main inspiration. I loved these kind of steps up to the door then the living room up, other rooms downstairs, and then another floor up top. Up top, I loved like the little garage. I don't know, I feel like these um, townhouses are very American in their style. I've never been to like a suburban place in America, so I don't really know. Um, I've seen it a lot on like TV shows like Property Brothers. <laughs> and I thought I'd give it a go because sometimes mansions are like, yeah, they're beautiful, but to play in, not every player likes this. So maybe I thought some of you guys would appreciate a build that's a little bit smaller, but at the same time equally like modern and it's not a starter home let me just throw it out there it's not it really isn't because the price is like 180,000, i believe i don't think i've ever built a starter home it's just it's so difficult it's honestly a 20 grand it's nothing 
nothing in The Sims, especially when you like clutter as much as I do. And I don't really like budgeting. I'm just like a big fat fan of aesthetics and I think 20K does not cut it. <laughs> I think like 20K is probably just the exterior alone of this build. I actually want to know what you guys think of this type of build. If you want to see like more smaller lot builds, please do let me know in the comments because I'm actually curious. I, I did ask in the community tab what you preferred to watch and I think the majority said small builds, which is strange because I never do those. So do let me know in the comments what you think. Do you want more of these small ones or mostly big ones or yeah do let me know. Also, if you're down there and you're enjoying this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I also have a little surprise for you next week. I'm not going to give away too much. I have never done this before on my channel, but I have mentioned it on my community tab. But yeah, you'll have to wait and see what I have in store for you for next week. I will say my goodbyes and I hope you enjoy the final tour of the entire build. Can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye!